Oh, hey everybody. Been a minute since I created a progress video for this. As you can tell by the title and what's around me, I have finally managed to make structures work properly and I also did some adjustments to the block breaking. I originally planned to have this as a part of the terrain video, but as I said in the intro, I was banging my head on the keyboard for it. The way I approach the structure creation is very easy to work with and I am quite excited to share this with you guys. Now if you will excuse me, I've got some mining to do. Knowing how the chunk generation works, I had to make the structure generation to where it goes with the flow of the world generating. The way I got it to work is, in a newly generated chunk, I would place random points on the height map to generate the origin of a structure. After that, I would attempt to assign the block types. If the block I am trying to place is outside of the chunk, then I will check if the chunk that I am trying to access exists. If it does, I will assign the block type in that neighboring chunk, and mark that chunk for another chunk update. If the chunk that I am trying to access doesn't exist, however, then I will create an entirely new chunk data and keep it until the chunk we are trying to access exists. When the once non-existent chunk generates, the code will simply assign the stored data to the new chunk, therefore making seamless structure generation no matter the size of the structure. Alright, now that the structure generation is up and running, I need to find a way to easily create new structures that would be included in the world generation. So I created something in the clone known as a generation feature. Generation features, in this Minecraft clone context, are containers that store all the block data of the structure, its chance of generating, the biome it is supposed to be generating in, the spacing between its structure, and the height at which the structure generates within the world. Everything is straightforward to create besides the block data of the structure. I store all the block data within an array, and it is unbelievably hard to try and visualize things that are 3D in a 1D list. So to solve this, I created a tool. The tool would auto-generate a generation feature's block data based on its child objects. Now I can build structures with cubes and then use the cubes as input to receive a brand new generation feature as output. Thanks to how easy this makes my life, I was able to make some unique structures with ease like this tower and this floating island. There are still many things I would want to do with the structure editor, but that is for a later day. Oh, I see you've made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching all the way through. Anyways, this is quite a short video because once again, this was meant to be in the terrain video. There is still a lot to do like give the blocks next to me functionality, but that will be for later. Also, according to the statistics from the last video, a small percentage of people who watched were subscribed. So if you like what you saw, consider subscribing. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to self-isolate.